Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm going to be doing a bunch of different swipes. I think uh, I'm going to be using house paint. So I've got this British Paints Walls Interior. I'm going to be using that as a pillow base. And then I've got these bloom paints that I've had made up for quite a while. And that's using the Taubman's Exterior Sunproof Neutral Base. Uh, to mix in to make the pouring medium. I've got some white swipe mix and some black swipe mix. So let's get started. So I'm putting down a pillow base today using the British Paints Walls Interior. So I'm going to put that down first. I can see a big chunk of paint because I've had this open for a while oh look at that okay let's just put a little bit extra here but I don't want to spread it out too much yet so I think what I'm going to do I've got these colors here that I've had made up for quite a while and I want to do a white swipe through the base I'm going to use my lighter blues and greens and I'm just going to give a bit of a squiggle. This is just going to be a really pale swipe. So yeah, using the white swipe mix, which is Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with three parts Australian Floetrol. So one part paint, three parts Australian Floetrol. And most of these colors here, I think, are actually the Montmartre metallics. I've got some Amsterdam paints here. This one would be Am's, Am's turquoise, turquoise blue, I think. Ooh. One thing I did want to try that I haven't done before is just like swiping just a color through to give like a just a blend just not sure I probably want to do it um, not on here so I'm going to use this one to swipe through here so we can go a little bit wider All right, let's swipe that using the white. And then I've got black swipe mix as well, which is the oxide black by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol. And I'm going to use that to create some details over the top. Let's swipe this first. I start it in a little bit because this will go over the edge. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I'll just add a little bit of paint down here. All right, do I want to try doing what I said and just blend? I haven't done it before. Hmm. Or do I want to keep it fairly simple and create the black swipe maybe this way? Loaded palette knife style. I think I will put a little bit of colour down as well though. I've got a bit of gold here to add. I'm not sure about this one. We definitely want to get some gold in, so let's put a bit of gold there. I 
And I'm going to load up my palette knife, I think, now. Well, I've got this dark colour here too. Let's put some of that down. Uh, okay, I need my spikes on there first. Then the colours. Alright, let's put the black on. And put some of the lighter colours on first. And then I'll put the dark colour on the bottom. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, I want to go through it again, I think. Put some gold through here. Just going to go a little bit thinner on the black. Still want to try and get some of this dark colour through there. Now I'm just going to dip that I know this is going to expand quite a bit not sure about this here so maybe this is where let's try a swipe without the lacing just a blank swipe Like that. Not sure. I think it's a little bit thick. Let's try this colour here. I like that. Let's try scoop and drag. Gosh, look at that blend of colours. Might end up on the corner, some of it. What do I want on this corner? Just go and drag this. I don't want to overdo it. That's better. Didn't want it quite so thick. Just tilting it to centre that bit a bit, I think. 
I've moved quite a bit of the paint to this side. I want to fix this middle bit. All right, I'm going to spin this out. Let's have a look at what we've got. This isn't very exciting here. It's a little bit gray. All right, let's give it a little spin. starting to come off. Um, I still need quite a bit off so I'm going to, because I've got to cover these edges. Just going to wet them down a little bit. All right, lost most of this, that's fine. Wasn't sure about it anyway. I'd actually like to get rid of a bit of that if I can. Okay, let's just give it another spin. Nothing wrong with tilting to get your composition. Okay, I think I'm happy with the composition. It's got some real flow. I will bring you in for the wet result. Okay, here is the wet result. And I absolutely love the background blend. I can never seem to get that part wrong. <laughs> it always looks really good. It's a little bit overstretched here. Um, and then there's a bit of 
dynamic movement through there. The black though, the loaded palette knife, I tend to struggle with. I do like this blend up through here. It's lots of colour. Um, but yeah, sometimes it just ends up a little bit like blurry. But I think the composition's pretty good. And it was interesting to try these little bits. I'm glad it didn't end up a big bit. So, yeah, I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And I've spotted something in this one. To me, it looks like there's some rays of light shining down through water or something. Because there's some pale sections going this way and this way. Um, and obviously the colours are sort of that greeny, bluey colour. It looks like, yeah, rays of light are shining down through. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of shine. Just a tiny bit through some of those Montmartre metallics. Yeah. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.